Hello, welcome to part two of my Hypercube build. And as you can see here, we have all the parts finally, pretty much. So, start with the printed ones, these are all in ABS. Um, 0.2 layer height on these, about 40% infill, so they should be pretty strong. Uh, got some cables and stuff and LCD, uh, the power supply which you've seen before. A uh, bunch of fixings, LM8 UU bearings, some bed leveling screws and springs, um, some bearings for the linear motion, a E3D cologne, the premium ramps board along with an Arduino and four stepper drivers, the MK2B heat bed. Uh, we've got two 300mm length 8mm rods with some slightly longer ones for the z-axis. Fan, the lead screw stepper motor along with three others, one for the extruder, two for the X and Y. Got the inductive sensor and I've gone with some uh, Iger's polymer bushings for the um, to run on the aluminium rails. So, with everything there, we can start the frame. Okay, so that's it for the frame. Um, took a while to get it square and everything. I also didn't order enough of these 90 degree corners, so I had to wait for some more of those to arrive. But um, when it's all together, it's pretty uh, pretty rigid. It's not going anywhere, that. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Got the 20 by 60 mil extrusion at the bottom. And uh, as I said in the previous video, plan is to have a nice bit of acrylic over that to cover everything up. So all the electronics, like the power supply and everything, should be nicely hidden, un hidden underneath. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll add all the mechanical parts, all the 3D printed parts and rails. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to stay updated with the build and see you in the next video.